Hi, this is Ben from Boss Data. Welcome to the Boss Analyzer. This video is all about charts, what they can do, and how to use them. So let's get to it. To open a new chart, go to Company Data, then Charts. To update the code within the chart, go to the top left corner then type in the code that you're after. In this instance, we're going to do CBA for Commonwealth Bank. You can also search by the company name. In this instance, we're going to use Westpac Bank to search for the code for Westpac. Now, we can also change the actual chart type looking at. And so instead of open, high, low, close, we can do candlestick, line, area, and point and figure. Now, we can add indicators to the charts. So if we go to indicators across the top of the chart menu there, and in that drop down menu, you're going to see all different type of indicators we can add to the top part of the chart. In this instance, we're going to add a simple moving average. You'll see it's actually added a 20 day simple moving average. So if we click on the 20, now we can update the period on there to a 16, and we'll also change the color to a nice aqua color. Then we hit save. Now if we look at the chart, you'll see it's updated the simple moving average to a 16 with the aqua colour. Now, we can move on to adding indicators to the lower parts of the charts. So if we go to lower charts across the top, You'll see the list of all the available indicators we can add to the lower parts of the chart. In this instance, we're going to add the relative strength index. You'll see it's been added across the bottom of the chart. Right now, it's on a 14. So we click on the 14, let's update to the 20 period. And then below, below you can update the upper and the lower bands on the charts, like the 80 20 or your 70 30 in this instance. And just make sure when you've done, as always, hit the save button and then it'll update on the chart for you. So let's add some overlays to the chart. We go to overlays and you'll see you've got the Fibonacci or your Gantt fan. So to start drawing the Fibonacci, left click and then just hold it down and drag it to where you want the start and the end point to be. If you want to make adjustments to it, click on where it says linear selection. You can select the calculation type, linear, logarithmic or GAN. Add extension. Once you're done, hit save. To start drawing on the chart, left click on the drawing and then on and click on the nice yellow color. To start drawing the trend line on the chart, left click with your mouse, or hold it until you finish drawing, then left click to stop drawing. You'll see at each end of that trend line and the middle of these little circles, they're called your manipulation points. So when you've got your cursor over those points, you'll see a four way arrow. So if you hold your left mouse button down and drag, it'll drag and reposition that manipulation point. If you go to the middle and left click on that and hold it, you can drag and position the whole trend line itself. Now, if you go to the same manipulation point, press it and then hold the shift key, it'll work as a duplication tool. So I make a copy of that trend line, hold the left mouse button down and click off it when you when you're ready to position it where you want. Also, if you double left click on that same middle manipulation point, 
it'll remove it off your chart. So let's go through now and look at some other sections of the charts. You see right now I'm highlighting the volume and the viewport section. To add or remove those, you can click them across the top of your chart there in the top right corner. Just left click to remove the volume or the viewport. There's also a function in the top right corner called clear and that will remove basically all your drawing tools and all your indicators off your charts. So I've unticked the volume and the viewport there. Now we can go to the different chart types. We've got price as default and comparison. So right now we're on the Westpac chart and let's do a comparison against Commonwealth Bank, so CBA. So let's top CBA in there, select it, and you'll see how they're performing in comparison with each other. You can, have, you can add several to it. To remove it, click on the little X next to CBA and that's been removed from the chart. Let's switch it back to a price chart. Now you can see all the various different types of time periods on there. Just click on them, change them to what you want. Let's go from a daily to say monthly. Okay, we can even go down to 10 years if we wanted to. So now we'll change that back to say six months and let's pop it back onto a daily. Now we'll re-add the volume onto it and we'll have a look at the viewport a bit closely. So, the viewport is used to basically select and highlight one section of your chart. So to do that, left click in the viewport section to select it, drag it to select the section that you want, and then you see the chart above it has updated. Now to remove that same viewport off your chart, just double click in the blank section there, just like I did, and that will remove it off your chart and basically re reset it to the default settings of the six months. Now we'll highlight on the chart price and percentage movement. So you left click to highlight it and hold it down, drag it, and then you'll see across the top that it's moved 3.98%, 127 points over the last 54 days. So let's piece it all together now and let's create a chart layout or a template. So we'll just add a exponential moving average. We'll update the period on there. Let's change that to a 30. Let's hit save. We'll also add a simple moving average to the chart. And we'll update that as well. Let's just change that to say 12. We'll add the nice aqua color to it. Let's hit save. We'll also hit a lower chart indicator. Let's add the RSI onto the chart. All right, so that's been added on there. Now, I wanna update the time period, so we'll change that to a six month, I'm sorry, no, we'll do a 12 month chart. So that's been updated. So now to save it all, we go to layouts, click on that in that drop down menu, click on create chart layout, click on that. Let's call it demo. We hit save. All right, so that saved it all. Now we'll change the code. Let's change that to Commonwealth Bank, so CBA. And then you'll see those same indicators have carried across. And also when we go to ANZ, it works exactly the same. And now we piece it all together. We click on the chart tab. Then we go to layouts in the top right corner, click on demo, and you'll see those same charts have got all the indicators and all the drawing tools on them already. So all we have to do is click on CPA, just left click, left click on CSL, and everything will update dynamically across the board for us. For more information about the Boss Analyzer, go to www.borsdata com.au also check out our other videos on youtube so just search for b-o-u-r-s-e 
D-A-T-A in the search field or send us an email support at borstarter.com.au or even give us a call on 1300 363 766